Hi, it's Thane the Brain. I'm so glad you found my channel. Please like and subscribe. Here are four nice new outdoor chairs I converted from some old chairs that had fallen apart. I'm going to show you step by step how I did it. Hi, my name is Thane. I'm in Mesa, Arizona. I'm going to show you how you take your old lawn chairs that are dried out and worn out in the sun and turn them into something nice like that. So here's an old model uh, that I've already, I already took out the screws and unhitched it. So this, this cloth material here in Arizona just dries out, turns brittle and, uh, you know, will rip. It's like, here's one that you can see kind of ripped. And so I stripped it off. Step two was taking some one by three wood and I've stained this all, the wood is all done. Um, these screws were the screws that were originally in here. I, I actually thought about uh, you know, taking this piece that came with it and working off that, but the curvature of the wood just kind of looked too difficult. So um, my easy fix, what I, I did need to screw one extra screw hole in here, but the other three were already in place. And so we put on the one by three wood Got it nice and stained, and then I put on some one by four at the uh, for the backing, and one by six for the seat. So you know, from the side you can see here, it uh, turned out really nice for this old chair that's got a, a good frame, and you could turn it into a chair that's going to last a long time. This thing is solid and, and steady. I use the bear. Uh, from Home Depot bear stain, color stain, and seal. So I gave it a couple coats. Used uh, some decking screws to put it put it in together, and turned out really nice. Now, just a quick tip: uh, you want a nice sturdy frame. You know these are nice and thick. This other set I have is next on my list. I'll I'll remove the uh, cloth backing. Kind of figure out how. Uh, you know how I'll attach some wood on here and, and make it work. Um, that one should work that way. Here's another chair we bought. These are kind of flimsy and light, so you know when this thing dies, I'm tossing it. There's nothing strong enough that I could that I could uh, connect some good wood to. Um, you know, so that's kind of a flimsy, cheap chair. That one's done, but you know a nice, sturdy metal chair works great. And again, put stuff in, final product. So thanks for tuning in and while I am uh, at it, I'm going to show you a quick video of the bench that I did the same for. Thanks. Actually for the bench I decided I po I'm going to post a separate video. So see the link at the end of this video for a short excerpt on how I did my bench. Here I'm showing a couple pictures. You could stop and pause if you want to see a little bit more close ups of just how I did the wood behind, below, on the side. And here's an underneath shot. Here's a close up of a front. And the two by one by three sides. So just a bunch of pictures so you can get a good idea. Thanks. Thanks for watching my video. Please watch, like, comment, and subscribe. YouTube is making us get a required number of subscribers in order to stay on the YouTube partner program, so please subscribe.